Look, a whole world of cheese at your local grocery store. Yet, unless you've been near St. Louis, you've probably never heard the name Prevel. Only here can you find it in rope form, shredded, or as a five-pound block. It's ideal for pizza, which in St. Louis is a flat, crispy crust and cut into party squares. We don't try to be New York style or Chicago style. This is definitely St. Louis style pizza. And Emo's Pizza dominates the region, with nearly a hundred restaurants, mostly concentrated around St. Louis. We started Emo's in 1964. We started from the first day using Prevel cheese, and we've used it ever since. It's just a combination of cheddar, Swiss, and provolone. That's what makes Emo's Emo's is, is the Prevel cheese. Yeah. When it melts, Prevel is almost like a sauce. It's gooey and has a smoky flavor. To me, it tastes gourmet. I mean, it tastes like, it's kind of like Gouda. Yeah. You have very good taste. <laughs> and of course, Prevel is also served on the house salad and in these kid-friendly cheese bites. To give you a sense of how popular this pizza is, here's how many boxes they go through. This is a one-week supply. But not everyone likes it. Pie Pizzeria makes deep dish pies. They count our president as a fan. Pie Pizzeria makes a really good pizza. And they're decidedly anti-Prevel. They're yeah. anti-Prevel, They yes. should wear anti-Prevel Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> but you wouldn't think that this would be a story that has controversy. But even Jimmy Kimmel calls emos terrible. Oh, I, I think I think Jimmy Kimmel likes controversy. That's what yeah. I think. Do you have any sense of why it's not used outside of St. Louis very well? Uh, well, I think they just don't know about it. 